So I was talking to Matt Diar about his Babyliss streamer and Clipper and told me he wants to retire them. So instead of this Babyliss streamer, I gave him an AC streamer, he loved it. And instead of this Babyliss Clipper, he wanted something that beats it. It'll be challenging, but I'm working on it. A lightweight housing. It's not premium, 3500 mAh battery of LG, 1700 RPM brushes motor with a custom super torque shaft. And when you use a custom super torque shaft on these type of housings, which are not premium, you should be good on assembly. If not, you mess up everything. So let's see what mechanism and blade combination that we can use on this clipper. Something that beats the Babel's clipper. So let's go for it. Our first option on mechanism is the vault's mechanism. You got a key blade oil part, which forces the cam folder to move in the perfect straight line. And you got a spring, which controls the pressure between the dynamic blade and the static blade. If you increase the pressure, you get a better cutting performance, but the blades will, will get hot faster. If you decrease the pressure, you, you will decrease the cutting performance, but the blades will remain cool longer. The problem is when you use this mechanism on these type of housings, which are not premium, it produces annoying noises and a more than usual vibration. Maybe in long term, it will be annoying. And in compared to other usual mechanisms, this mechanism gets worn out faster. So you don't want to use them. Our second option is what Babel is use. A mechanism that everything gets attached to the a spring. So the cam follower gets attached to the a spring. The dynamic blade gets attached to the cam follower. Here we go. And a static blade comes on top of everything. Okay? I should say that you can max out the cutting performance on Vault's mechanism. You just, you just get, you can get the max performance out of this mechanism. But it gets just, it gets worn out faster in compared to what Babel is use. Okay, this will give you, uh, give you a bit, give you a good cutting performance, but not, it's not. Uh, easy to max out the performance on this mechanism it's much easier to max out on this mechanism on, on vol, what wall uses okay so to use this mechanism on this housing you need the come on let me see you need the key blade or part that doesn't have these parts something like this here we go and this is a spring of Walt's mechanism and the spring that you need is this one the two edges are toward outside on wall they are toward inside you need this type of spring about the cam follower you need something like do i have one yeah Something like this. So this is the Vols cam folder. You can buy this like this in the market. You should convert this to this. How you do it? There you go. 
and for these two edges you need two holes here so Here we go. Now, if you can hear your brushes motor, just it just has so it's it just super silent. I don't think you, you, you can hear it, but. Kinda if you can hear your brushes motor, it's not a good brushes motor. There's something wrong with it. Okay? Uh, where is the... Here we go. Now it goes... In the holes like this. Yawn. So, oh, about the blade combination. Now it's time to talk about the blade combination. So, on Babyliss like mechanisms, you should use blades that has low friction with the static blade. You should use these type of dynamic blades. See? Only the top and a small surface, an area on the bottom. These are the good options for the blades that you can use on these type of mechanisms. Okay, so what I did was, I am I just wanna, the ceramic blades, you can use ceramic blades too. There you go. You know, I always want to use the heaviest blade possible, the heaviest dynamic blade. So what I did was, I was like, this, you know, they have a large area that has friction with the dynamic blade. So they will worn out the cam folder fast. What I love, what, the reason that I love Babel is that is they are too good on design. On this design, there is only one, one single point of failure. On Babyliss, it's three. You can't damage it. You just can't. If you want to, you can't damage it. And when you when the dynamo blades gets attached to it, nothing can can go wrong about it. On wall, on what the, the on this cam follower, I can't go with this. This is just too risky. I actually tested and it failed on this cam follower. Okay, some other reasons uh, was uh, it has some other reasons that they together just made it a failure. But I just want to use the heaviest blade heaviest dynamic blade that i can go with okay so what i did was i just reduced the surface of this 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 area and made it this just to use the heaviest dynamic blade so i reduce reduce the area just to see what happens okay maybe this area is just too much i reduced it and i want to use it Okay, so let's go for it. These are the good options. So let, let me talk about these two. In comments, one of you asked, so in, in one of my videos, I, I was talking about the blade combinations. It, the title is, I think, Master the Blade Combinations. And uh, in that video, I said, this type of dynamic blades that you see are usually on rotary-based clippers of a StarCraft and AC clippers are not good for 
walls mechanism this mechanism are not good for walls mechanism this side these, these blades that are just too lightweight and one of you ask then why the ceramic blades works well on them it's a very good question so the reason is first of all it's heavier than this dynamic blade this this is heavier than this the second reason is it has sharper edges the ceramic blade has sharper edges in compared to these blades the third reason there is no there is never just there's no coating on back of the ceramic blades so this is a dynamic blade that has coating on back and this is the blade that there has no coating on back okay so when you have coating on back a layer of coating goes on top of the edge of the dynamic blade and reduces the cutting performance when you sharpen it that edges get sharp too so it, it now this has a better cutting performance in compared to this one because there is no coating layer on top of the edge okay so what you see here sometimes you see uh the ceramic blades has, has a better cutting performance in compared to this one oh, and sometimes even these blades come coat come with coating all over it on ceramic blades never they, 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 you can't use coating on back of this uh ceramic blade on here the part that cuts if you use coating on back of it it just makes it terrible there's no point for doing this okay Total, totally there's no reason to use it to go for it make it totally uh coated on ceramic blades so, okay so that's your reason for this again uh first is heavier than this second reason it has a sharper edges in compared to this one uh these blades and um uh, the third reason is there is no coating on back of it this is why it cuts well so i'm not a fan of ceramic blade i don't like them i never use them sometimes i use them but i'm not a fan of it i just don't so i want to use this dynamic blade on them there we go the heaviest just let's go wild on it and guys i found it on an old corded wall clipper this blade is just insane matt you loved it i just showed it showed it the other day and uh he told me he wanted so let's just go for a carpet test There we go. God, it has no vibration. Holy hell. <laughs> this, is, this is awesome. There we go. So, let's go for it. It's good to go. There we go. We should go to test it to see if Madyar loves it or not. Using his babies for two years now, I think three years, two years, I don't know. And it's not that long, but two to three years. So yeah, this is a, a costume self-assembled kind of wall clipper and uh let's test it let's go for it and uh is there anything that yeah i talked about the blade combination i talked about the mechanism yeah let's go to manager's barbershop and test it let's get a few of the fishers of the world super torque tire sanguine but pindera is just one point 
اتصال داره مثل بابلی سه تا نقطه اتصال نداره تعمیراتش به شدت ریسکیه یعنی مثلا اینجوری که تو نمیتونی بری دسته یکی به سرت بیرون فقط رو مدیار میشه تست کرد دست, دست, علی, هم دست علی وقتی میدی ماشین باید چیک رو بخورو انتریل وقتی دست علی میدی اینجوری که باید از تجربیاتت مایه بذاری یعنی نباید خراب بشه ماشین باید مثلا متریال فوق العاده بالا باشه آره مثلا دیگه دیگه نگه مثلا این مشکل داره آره. دست علی من نمیخوام بشتم مشکل داره تستشو نباید بدیم اینجا آه. تست آره اینجا فاز آزمایشیش خوبه البته اینم البته ببین این همه درد سر و اینا این که مثلا بیای پین درایو با بلیسی کنی اینا همه به خاطر اون بدنه کم کیفیتش ولی خب شما یه بدنه سبک میخوایم اینجوریم که اوکی بدن سبک ما میگیرم با کم کیفیت بودنش کنار میام سنگینی تیغه ماشین رو با سبک چه تو قسمت مرد کردن قسمت صفرش خیلی خوبه آه. خشنگ میتونه بازی کنه با ماشین میگم چی میگی تیغ سنگین آره البته میدونی مثلا تو این تیغ رو سنگین میکنی رو ویبرش تاثیر داره الان من البته اوکی okay. من از مشکل ندارم باید بریم چی کار میکنم اگه فاز تستیه دیگه آره. مثلا دیگه باید بریم ببینیم که از توش چی در میاد دیوسیشه رفت نه؟ آره آلیه که اینو بریم فازش هم تستیم باش دیگه بریم بریم چی کار میکنم ولی خب رنده میکنه آره. یعنی میخوام برم تازه مدن چطوری؟ خوبیه؟ خیلی مست سلام تیم مافی آیتون چه داره؟ چه خبر؟ خیلی مست آقا کلیپر رو بردم وحشی ترین کلیپری که حیف این کلیپر که دست مهدیاره وگرنه کلیپر خیلی خوبیه ادریس چون چطوری؟ خدا رو بردارم سنگی تنیتیقه ای که میشد بزن باشم هر با دیروز بیاید داشت نه ما چشم انتظار داشت دیروز کجا رو بیاید؟ آه ای بیشم تا ده هم اغازه بودم به خدا امیر میشینیم؟ امیر تیغه سنگین تر از حالت معمول تیغه سنگین تر تیغه است تیغه اصلی واله بیشم دومون بگیرم نظر ولی چه لرزشش اینقدر کمه خیلی لرزشش کمه پیندرایش بابلیسیه عرید پیندرایش بابلیسیه فقط به یه جا بسله لرزش این بیشتره به خاطر بدنه هست این جدا از اینکه پیندرایی به چیز کردی پیندرایی به این چه فرق میکنه؟ So Ali noticed that uh, it has a much more vibration compared to this one this is because the, we use the Babel's mechanism for this one so we are talking about this به خاطر بخاطر بدنه شه به خاطر میکانیزم شه چیز چون بیاره؟ خیلی چیز خوبیه علی جان هم نشه هست با اینکه تیغش انقدر سنگینه ولی لرسه شما خوبیدنه هم نداره نه باید کار کنی کار مورشش فکر کنم خیلی برشی باید باشه عالیه مشخصه ببین امیر جان بریم بریم مدل مدل کسری از تانی جوش حیف این ماشین که ما رو مدیاره و حیف این ماشین که خب بریم و آقا آقا به علی آقا حضور کردنی تو میتونم سازه کنم این گوپرو هستم سلام و چه حالتون چطوره امروز اومدیم با ماشین جدیدمون برای یه فیت بزنیم این شونه یه ده میل گارد بسته Thank you.
میریم روی شونه چهار و نیم گارد باز سفره سلیپر شنگ تا زیر منطقه سفرمون رو با تریمر تمیز میکنیم که کارمون به تر نظر آرف به سلامت به سلامت به سلامت شیفر رو موقعی که برعکس میزنیم خواهم یه فیت دو قسمت سفید رو فیدت کنیم خب همینجا آخ
سری که مشوری از جون داری یه سری خیلی لکه داریه مثلا این باید خیلی فکوزو بیشتری رو سر باشه یکی پیتاش برمی داریم این داری شونه ای لکه گیری این دو تیپ ها دو قسمت درشتشونه حجم بالا رو یه مقدار سبب تر میکنه که حجم بولا رو کردیم حالا با تنشن ریزش قسمت هایی که لکه داره رو یه مقدار سباکتر میکنیم که یه فیده کامل خوبی داشته باشه حالا میگیم با یه ترینر اطلاعین کار رو میگیرم فقط هم یه بخش از رو میزنیم این یه لاین باشه Thank you.